Mic test. Test in the mic. <laughs> Sounding for sibilance. Popping my peas. Perplexing paradigms. All right, that's not too bad. Sounds all right. Let's go ahead and transition on in. Well, howdy, folks. Tonight's a little weird. I'm working with a little um, insomnia this night. Can't really bring myself to lie down and get any sleep. So I figure I'm going to go ahead and try to tire myself out and maybe... Be productive at the same time if y'all don't know if you ain't caught one before this is the workflow live stream here at country fried minis we're here working on the stuff that's going to get worked on anyways this is where i put together my premiere stuff i'm editing my videos and making content out of it i'd like to in the future maybe uh introduce a painting stream as well but uh, i haven't quite worked out the kinks to get my um my desk set up for that yet but it's in the works. Now, that is not to say that I intend the live stream stuff to overtake the content here. Uh, I realize that most of my content these days has become live stream material. And uh, perhaps I've been leaning on that as a crutch to get more content out there. Um, and I've been neglecting the full length Country Fried Minis content as of lately. But um, the summer has been a little weird. I'm working on a bunch of commissions. I'm uh, preparing for a major tournament that is this coming weekend. I'm trying to get my own models painted. It's just, it's been super busy. And um, instead of taking my extra free time to work on projects like I should be doing, I find that I'm using it to take it as free time. I've been playing some games, hanging out with the boys, hanging out with, with the good friends. Um, and for that, for y'all, I apologize. Uh, so, for that, I'd like to go ahead and um, maybe get back to work on the, uh, on the old painting for commission video which I've gone ahead and taken a little time and recorded my talking head bits got the audio separate from the video so we're gonna try and line those up and um, get them working uh, get it going I don't know how much I'm gonna get done tonight as uh, it is 1 49 a.m. local time and I am suffering from some severe insomnia this evening um, but that said, I'm going to work through and uh, try to turn this insomnia into creativity and then tiredness. So, whether or not you catch this live or catch this through the algorithm, always remember that the workflow live sessions are the place to get your thoughts heard on Country Fried Mini's material. Whether you've got comments related to the work that it's going on right now or concerns or questions, uh, feel free to toss them in the chat, toss them in the comments down below. I'm going to read all of it and get back to you. So, without further ado, maybe I need to stop clicking my cookie here and pop on into Premiere. So, let's go ahead and get 
get my voiceover folder set up and we can go ahead and get some work going on. All right, so um, unfortunately I have not gotten any extra work done on this video since I last ran a workflow live stream and I think that was 11 days ago as of now as of midnight um, and that's just that's shameful uh, so it's you know it's a full month since the last piece of content um, but you know it, it happens and I, I'm not quite in a position yet to um, shuffle everything in my life out of the way and work exclusively on video production though I am aiming to get there um, perhaps in a year's time when I finish the degree which will be starting back up in August that said let's um, go ahead and start putting together these here talking head bits and I think I'm just debating whether or not I should use uh, sequences or just slide everything down. I think I'm just going to slide things down, to be honest. So let's start with the intro. Uh, boo, 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 boo. Let's pull up the folder. I'm starting to run out of space on my hard drive as well for video production. I'm going to have to invest in one soon. Anyhow, let's go ahead and set this back to large icons, which I have already done once before, but let's do it again. And we're going to toss in, I'm going to toss in old 04046, and then talking head one, one and two, put them together, toss this in, and I'll try to I don't think y'all will be able to catch what's going on in these clips. I don't think I have audio capture set up on them, but uh, that's fine. That's fine. It's unimportant anyways, because a lot of it's me cussing about traffic. It is quite remarkable. Um, even working so late on these talking head bits, recording this stuff at one in the morning, um, I find that... It never fails, and anytime you press that record button, um, there will be traffic going by. Doesn't matter what time of day, what time of night. And good lord, this outfit makes me look big. But that's because I am big. Good old American big. All right, that's a little off. Hey, what do you know? There's a siren going off as well. Okay. Let's see, did I get this? One? No, I didn't get it in one take because traffic, traffic, traffic going by. That looks like the take right there. Okay, we'll take it right there. We're gonna cut this off, cut that off, and get back to the start here. And I think I want a one second fade in. Sorry, my nose is itching like mad. get rid of all that and then all that and that and then I think what we want to do is jump forward one second drop down an opacity go back one second pal we're gonna put another keyframe we're gonna start this one at zero percent and then we're also gonna drop a scale and position and then we're gonna jump to the end of this clip here I think this one also deserves a one second fade out. Let's do that. There. Let's do this and. Oh, wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
because I, um, I fade out and then I pop with the music for the intro, uh, which another point we will be reshooting at some point the intro video. I want to get one that's a little shorter, a little more to the point. Um, yeah, I think it'll be good for the for the channel intros because I I tend to lose a little bit of viewership uh, during those. Okay, sounds like audio's low, so let's do a level. Try to get rid of that breath in. I don't know why. Oops, let's go back. I don't know, four frames. We'll go from negative 100 to five decibels. Let's actually um, make sure my headset is turned all the way up so I can hear accurately as to what's going on. And then gonna hit play okay that sounds good I think my headset was just low so now as always we're gonna put in a hard limiter and pop that down here the thing is I don't want my viewers getting their ears blowed out so to do that what we do is we set the maximum amplitude on all these clips to negative 12 decibels. And that should keep things in like the pleasant listening range. I was confused for a moment. I heard a sound. It was just traffic. So it looks like I need to adjust. Let's um, let's hide this for a minute. Let's adjust this positioning a bit. Let's get that position adjusted to right there, I think. All right, pop this back on and give it a look-see. All right. Yeah, cool. Looks good. We're gonna run with it. Um, boop, slide that up. And I think what we ought to do here is put it all the way over there. And then what we can do is I think all the talking heads should probably go in this track right here and then we're going to select all and then we need to deselect these and slide it all down I don't know how much like just a bit just enough to fit everything together alright grab these we're gonna, um, oh, I see, I see. Let's put this down and we slide this back one second. Nope, grab both of them. Go back one full second so that the preview fades in. Ah, perfect, perfect, perfect. I likes it. We're gonna select all, we're gonna deselect these. Oopsie, gotta get rid of that. And then what I need is the intro segment from another video, I think might be the way to do it. So we're going to save this. We're going to pop on over to open project. And which was the one before? We did battle for two kid and then it was... Um, Big Marauder. 
excuse me i'm already feeling the tiredness which is exactly what this um late night after dark is about i'm gonna try and wear down the insomnia with a little good old-fashioned work so let's slide it on down let's slide it on down let's find that intro segment It ain't that. It is intro, clip, no music. And is this, this has got to be beer can chicken. It sure is. Okay, so what we want to do is select all those and copy these. And then we can close this one. Wait. Hold them, hold up, hold up, hold up. What is this model teaser? Get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. We get rid of that one. That is this project. Okay. So we're going to go over to main body. I'm going to paste that down. And I think I need to move this track up. To audio track this needs to come up to audio track 2 yep there we go uh, I need to ensure I have enough space for it so we're gonna select everything just like time before and then we're gonna hold shift and deselect these three and slide all this mess over so plenty of room to work just to overcompensate for it all right, and then I think it should work if I just stick it on like that and give it a little watch see. Howdy Emery, uh, welcome. Um, you should paint something in high contrast grayscale and film it in black and white and have silent movie captions, put Nickelodeon music to it and claim it's one of your old videos from 1927. I actually really like that idea. I was um, kind of playing with the idea of painting up the Th Thetania model in some kind of monochrome um, object source lighting, but the community has insisted that it be a, a skin feature, so I think we're going to do that one with glazing techniques. Um, although, a good friend of mine uh, hit me up about a commission and make it herby jerky and shot like five minutes short like five minutes yeah yeah that that'd be pretty good um i got a buddy who hit me up about um he wants an army painted up to resemble the um the talking head bits from metal gear solid one gear solid one what would you call that codec Codec calls. Let's see if there's a quick image. Yeah. Uh, open image in new tab. He wants a full army of infinity models painted up to kind of look like that. Just like monochrome. I could probably get away with that and just shoot the whole thing in black and white and call it herky jerky. Yeah, I, I like this idea quite a bit. Um, and uh, I was actually communicating with um a friend of mine who does some consulting for for some other youtube channels um and he recommends that i try to get my content length down a bit uh, under this like 20 minute thing i've been doing uh which you know i love the long form stuff but it's kind of kind of rough to put in the you know 40 50 hours it takes to put together a 20 minute video uh, without admittedly working as hard as i need to <laughs> so it sounds like a fun kind of like a lime monochrome monitor yeah uh, yeah exactly um well i guess he wants them to look like like they're in night vision more or less and i think that works I think that's kind of the, the feel I'm going for. All right, so 
Um, I'm not sure when I'll get to that though, because um, I've got the I've got another commission in the pipe right now for uh, that's not going to get recorded, um, and then Rose City Raid is this weekend, um, this coming weekend. We're going up to Portland. It's a two-day tournament, so I'll be indisposed the whole weekend, and then uh, I got to find time to to do that commission and record and keep stuff coming out. I like to compensate for the lack of content um, as of late. I think it would be good to you know, get back on the horse, if you will. Uh, anyhow, um, like I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, I'm kind of fighting a little bit of insomnia tonight, so I thought I'd go ahead and try to put in these talking head bits which I've done recorded. And let's see, there's a whole bunch of them in this, in this clip. We got like nine, nine more to put in. I'm hoping to get those out. I don't think uh, I'll be up all night, but sometimes when this insomnia hits, it's, it's very unpredictable. Um, I've been known to be up until the sun comes up for no good reason at all. Big wax mustache, bowler hat, big kerosene lamp. Imagine all the props. Maybe drink from... God, that, that is so damn fun. I wonder if there'd be a... I wonder what would be an appropriate model for that. If there's any kind of like... Vaudeville models, STL. I don't really know what would um, what would be a good model for that, but that that does sound like a really fun thematic thematic project. And you know, I I love to do the the like changing hat thing. <laughs> every every episode, I try to rotate hats. Though I've only got let's see five different hats at this point, plus the um, the uh, what you call it, the neuro helm. Uh, anyhow, let's see what we can do. I need to work this intro clip, no music, with music into the video now. And it looks like this music hits with it, so maybe picking a picking a point where it fades out. I think... We go two seconds out from the thumbs up. So we can pop down a effect control. Oh, I've already got one there, don't I? Remove that. Yeah, remove that one. Go here. We're going to go back a full second. Uh, maybe maybe two whole seconds. Start fading it out after the, the thumb thumbs up, I think. That should be 100%, and then this should be 0 That means select select everything. Get rid of all this. All of this gets cut out. And then we're gonna slide this whole shebang right there. I think that also means this audio needs to be fading out. Fading on out to right there. Some kind of nature. 
how do you call me Grishka tonight um, is a little little weird for me. I'm um, I'm fighting some insomnia, so I thought I'd be productive and get some stuff done and fight this insomnia with good old fashioned all American hard work. I wouldn't call it hard work, but it's definitely tedious and busy work. Uh, tonight I've got the talking head bits. Some kind of nature, some kind of neurological load. Insomnia isn't fun. Yeah, I am. Um, so I'm a, uh, I have bipolar disorder and uh, some psychiatrist would say that I should be medicated. And I've had really, really bad luck um, with the worst of the side effects. <laughs> <laughs> oh you got me good there um yeah it's um you know i don't take the pills i i probably should take the pills but um i find that they just uh they don't do me well and the flip side of that is that sometimes i deal with some extreme emotions that i find very difficult to modulate and sometimes I'm extremely manic, and it leads to insomnia that keeps me up till, well, the sun comes up, uh, which sucks. But I figure let's try this strategy tonight and be productive. Uh, plus, I need to get this content out. I need to get this. Um, I need to get this video completed so as to have some stuff out for y'all. Yeah, I've been really, uh, been really neglecting the, uh, the, the normal, uh, Country Fried Minis content as of late, uh, which, which sucks, but, um, we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep some more stuff rolling out this, this here, you, you like my Battletech stuff, thanks, um, for the interest there. I've got some more stuff coming out. Uh, this here video is going to be the commission painting work. Um, we're talking about the the lance that I did for um, for a guy over on Fiverr, talking about the realities of commission work, and also I'll be running an ad for my own stuff. So when this video comes out, I'm going to be including an offer for 20% off my rates, regardless of the size of the project, that will be always good. As long as someone sends me a custom offer request, letting me know they saw the content. I'm trying to keep it interesting, I'm trying to talk about, you know, some of the realities of, of working for, for commission, as well as like what corners you can cut um, and still have good looking models. In. I have been neglecting it though. I, I, I'm ashamed that it's taken, <laughs> taken so long to get this content out. Um, honestly, I, I could be, I could give all kinds of excuses and it just, um, you know, my mentor told me once that um, no such thing as excuses. You either do it or you don't. And uh, I'm okay with that. But I do feel like I do feel like I owe y'all a little bit better. And I should probably be a little more diligent about getting the workout. Hmm. How about one second out from here? start this music fading out. I guess y'all can't hear the the music here because I don't do the caption. My mentor was named James Vaughn. He was a physicist at Bettis Labs. James Bond. Bond. James Bond. Alright, that looks like 
a transition that is good enough and I'm gonna go with it. He apparently got that joke a lot in the Navy. I can only imagine. It's, uh, there's certain names that just like, it never ends. Um, I have ADD, which can work sort of like a lesser bipolar where you go from obsessed with some dumb thing to distracted and feeling overwhelmed, helpless, often with anadoria, feeling no joy, no novelty. I also have ADHD. Well, that sounds kind of, kind of shit, to be honest. Um, I, I suppose the things that I experience are somewhat similar, um, it's definitely like a fluctuation, um, an irrational fluctuation of energy levels as well as uh, hard, hard emotions. Um, on the flip side of that, I must say that experiencing a manic joy state is pretty incredible. The flip side is um, sometimes you can go into extreme lethargy and um, depression that accompanies that. And I definitely empathize with folks who have really, really been through it. Um, and, and this is in no way a uh, assessment of my own mental state because I've learned to live with my illness. I empathize with those out there who have ended up um, taking their lives over their struggles with mental health. It's no joke. And I think that uh, it's a shame that, uh, at least in this country, we don't take, we don't care for folks the way we should. We don't develop our um, societal boons to folks who need the help, instead addressing it with pills. Anyhow, that's, that's a little dark. Uh, it is after dark, after all. Um, yeah, there's nothing fun or wacky about eating it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anyhow, I, I don't mean to go dark with it. It's just, um, you know, throwing a little acknowledgement out there that um, some folks have their own struggles, and I feel for all those folks having their struggles. It sucks when your friends tell you to stop spending money and time on something and you realize how far gone you are, how much time and money I waste on some crap. Ooh. Uh, nervously glancing up at the boxes of miniatures up on my shelf here. At, um, shit, dog, I feel that. Um, I just picked up a copy of Warhammer Curse City because um, I had to have it. And I'm afraid that it's going to end up sitting around in, um, in shrink wrap. I'm, I'm very lucky my depression game is a free HTML game. What, what game, what game is that, pray tell? Is it anything like Cookie Clicker? I'm a big fan of Cookie Clicker. I actually played this mostly in HTML. Corruption of champions, don't look it up. Well, I, I have to. I have to now, right? Is it, um, is it TOS friendly? Is it that kind of game? Please don't. <laughs> uh, let's, let's, uh, not at all. Okay. Let's pop open. I, I, I my curiosity is going to get the best of me, I think. Uh, I'll put it in the tab over here. <laughs> oh, fun art. Yeah. I dig it. Yeah. D you know, I think that there are certain titles out there that have... Um, how do I put it best? Mental health boons out there. It's all text. Struggle game, all text. I dig it. Um, I myself am a huge proponent of the positive side of violent video games. Um, I have long advocated that um, 
They allow us to express a part portion of our humanity that society otherwise will not. And uh, can be really, really good for it. Your ADHD appreciates it. Yeah, I can imagine um, the text-based format would allow for a deep dive into the realm of imagination and uh, inner imaging as well as uh, obsessive delving to read in the text. So deep, yeah. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of... I have one to recommend. Um, Stone Soup. Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. Really, um, really fantastic game. Um, well, shit, let me, I can probably pop it up here in like, I don't know, a minute, minute and a half. It's tiny. Run on any system. Oh, it wants me to run. Run anyways. When I was in the Navy, I played it constantly. Oh, Stone Soup. Yeah, okay, you know. Um, I can't believe I don't have it on this machine right now. I like 800 hours on one tour. That's insane. I rarely get really clinically depressed, but two weeks of being bored with everything, but needing to feed the pets and wondering if it will end, come sort of close. And then you have to fight not to tune out. Yeah, anytime you weren't on watch, you played it. It's, um... Uh, it's a hell of a title. Um, I think my best run was as a felid, and I got... I got, like... I don't know, six hours into it. It wants... Yeah, I could see it being a good ADHD game. Um, Emery, I, I empathize with you. Um, for sure. Uh, it's... Honestly, that, that sounds pretty pretty similar to, um, you know, uh, the hallmarks of depression. And I, I think we're all prone to it on some level. You know, it's natural, right? It's an emotion that people have, but like... Sometimes you just, you don't function. Um, and that's, that's shit. And I think there's ways to, to address that. And it's mostly like societal boons. Like you, you gotta have folks to, to help you in those instances. And sometimes when you live um, in a city that delivers such anon anonymity, is that the word? Anonymity in your life? You become a number, you become a a faceless person in the crowd and then your family lives 2800 miles away because they can't be bothered to leave the south yeah depression can get um can get rough and um regardless of how you're feeling in those moments there's a saying about it right that time and tide waits for no man things continue on forward uh anyhow not meaning to get dark about it, but I appreciate it. Um, and I highly emphasize it. I'm highly empathetic with y'all in your own struggles. Lord knows we all have them. I like the Euro truck driver games. Driving a big rig and listening to Polish country music can be weirdly soothing. You know, I, I bet you're right. Um, it's... Uh, special kind of relaxing I haven't played the big rig simulators but I did play the wackiness that is my summer car um, which is you um, you, you, you build a car you're, you're in like rural finland um it's like putting parts together and managing your hunger and uh your thirst and getting drunk and flipping people off uh actually i highly recommend this game as well it is uh, an, an utter nightmare um, and I, th I think the goal of it is like you build the car and then you run the rally race and that's that's the game. 
I don't think it's in the same vein as the the Euro Truck Simulator, but yeah, you know, bringing it up made me think of my experiences listening to Finnish radio, uh, driving a tow truck, crashing a car and dying. It definitely jank. It did nothing but jank. <laughs> Anyhow. Um. Oh, yeah, there's a sauna. Uh, anyhow, I digress. Um, looks like we're jumping into shot two of the talking head bits. Um, a whole bunch of me cussing about cussing about traffic noises at one in the morning. Got to filter it out. It's a little off. I think it's off by a frame. Yep. <sighs> Jeez. Didn't we play Cyberpunk 2077 when it came out? It turned into a highly broken GTA with random cars flying around because the game logic went snug. So I saw the screenshots of that um, and the videos, but never played it myself. I still haven't played Cyberpunk, actually. I've only recently um, gotten my computer able to, to run kind of more modern stuff. I've got a... Um, 1050, 1050 Ti, I think. Okay, let's find. Okay, so we're gonna cut right here before I start cussing. that I was upset I paid money for it but it's kind of amusing to watch the chaos spin up to absurd levels you know I could see value in that um, I recently picked up Warhammer Vermintide 2 and by recently I mean tonight picked it up and played with some buddies and I heard that was kind of bad when it first came out and um, it's been polished and added to and honestly I enjoyed the delve into that more than uh, Dark Tide. What am I starting with here? Yep, me cussing. Going off. <laughs> it's, none of this is appropriate. None of that at all is appropriate. Uh, it, I find it remarkable that um, so I do my talking head recordings super late uh, I tend to try to aim for midnight one in the morning um, you know get around some of the the traffic noise and it doesn't matter when you record um, if you hit that record button if you live in the city and you have a window right over there that could potentially make noise and interrupt your your recording. If you hit that record button to record audio, there will be traffic driving by the millisecond you click it. All right, let's get this right here. The hell is that? Speaking of, somebody just squall tires as they drive by. Um, 
All right. Vermintide and Left 4 Dead games are great with friends. Um, yeah. I think they're... It's, um... They're good titles for, like, low investment, um, high impact fun. I recall playing Left 4 Dead 2 first. And I also recall it being real funny that it made me Ellis, was that his name, by default? Um, the guy, the redneck. Oh, right, it's 2.30 where... Yeah, I, I don't know what I'm doing up at this ungodly hour. Uh, but I'm here getting a little work done. I'm, I was hoping to maybe get this video out for tomorrow or today. Uh, but I think what it's going to turn into is... Um, bouncing back on and doing a little more streaming in about... I don't know, 14 hours from now or so. I'm trying to get this video out and completed. I've also got a battle report to write up. So let me pull this up right now. There's a unofficial community driven campaign going on right now for Infinity um, called Operation Hungry Walrus. There's like a a rogue AI named Brutus has taken control of the city of New Hypatia and its eponymous strait. The indefinite blockade in issued by the AIs initiate a crisis that will eventually bother everyone in the human sphere with price increases and delays. So it's an opportunity for people to um, document their games and write up these like narrative reports. Um, I'm good friends with the guy who does the uh, like Yujing High Command out here in the Bay Area. Um, he's always the driving forces when the like official sanction campaigns come through. So it's it's um, it's kind of involved. The last campaign I was in was I want to say last August they did the Dergama takeover. Dergama takeover, and I think that that campaign's website has come down at this point but it was really fun it was really awesome to try and like drive the official storyline of the game based on how rounds went um, worldwide it's really fun really involved and you end up writing these um, uh, new window let's see desktop Infinity, Dragama Takeover. I did, um, I did these, uh, like press releases about my force, the Candy Core. So we worked for this, this character, Candy Double. Um, I did my efforts of, like, shitty tabloid postings because it's basically what this character does. She's, um, more or less a um, like a Facebook level investigative journalist um, so I'm hoping to get a little more of that done the campaign's phase one ends in like three days Ooh. Uh, so I need to submit at least one of these campaign release flyers uh, 4.30 here. I'm 52, but I ate like a 19-year-old last night and I almost got away with it. But 3.30 a.m., my body told me the karma police wanted to speak to me with their boots. So here, here I erp and squirm. I absolutely hate to hear that. Um, I, um, I'm finding that I'm a little less tolerant to my eating habits in uh, my age. I'm 36 now, and I... Ended up with my first experience of heartburn um, in my life from eating jalapeno pizza. It absolutely wrecked me. Uh, 
so it, you know it's I, I should probably address my diet now <laughs> uh, but I eat like crap Oh, I said it's real important. It's real important. That's. It's real important. It's real important. Turkey. Turkey chili and pickled jalapenos and cotija. Is that. Um, I bet I'd recognize it if I synced it. Let's see. Crumbly? Does it melt down like. Um, Does it melt down smooth? It looks a little bit like Parmesan in texture. Oh, I know this cheese. I know this cheese. Yes. The stuff they put on elote, is it not? Yeah, yeah, I know this cheese. Oh, damn. Yeah, that sounds like a, a recipe for some indigestion acid reflux. get in can I damn I say it's important and then it's real important in this I should have thrown some cornbread in oh man yeah I do like some good cornbread. I am definitely a fan of some good cornbread. My mom has really figured it out. Um, didn't have any, don't have any cornbread though. That's unfortunate because it, I think you're right. I think it would have gone spectacular some pickle jalapenos and turkey chili um, I have gone mostly vegan uh, in my life now and you know good things like that are still somewhat accessible but but certain foods really aren't um, they got me doing ground turkey instead of shredded roast for my chili meat due to press. Yeah, I could see that. It, it's definitely a textural change. Um, I'm, I think uh, when I'm going plant-based and, um, and making chili, it's a little easier for me with the, with the ground stuff because you can get the, uh, oh, what's that brand called? Impossible, Beyond Meat, maybe it's Daya. I can't remember, but there's there's a good um, good brand of meat esque plant protein crumbles uh, that you you season it up enough and add a little extra fat into the chili. It works really well. Maybe not fatty enough to coat my stomach. Yeah, don't you don't you need to add fat to to turkey to cook it right? Like, it's kind of lean. I guess that's the point, right? Just trying to cut down on the fattiness. Mushrooms are good meat sub. So, oh, yes. Absolutely. Um, I am a big fan. I've even got a uh, a secret weapon up in my cabinet. I keep a, a little tub of truffle salt. It's like... It's salt with little tiny bits of truffle in it, so it adds like a, a mushroom punch to whatever you're whatever you're working with. It's it's remarkable though. I, I gotta say, you know, I don't eat meat. Um, very rarely eat cheese anymore. 
maybe more than I should, honestly. But I eat well. I eat exceptionally well. Um, I think folks would be very surprised to know that you can you can live on a vegetable-based diet and still be as rotund as myself. Tasty and your body gets meat-like protein from and they cook well, fast, or slow. Yeah. Definitely always was a fan of mushrooms. They are a solid inclusion in most most dishes. Uh, let's go 1080. 1080 and 780. Easy numbers, so I can replicate those right here. This will be 1080 as well, and 780, and 75. And then this one, I wonder if I should do the zoom in. I don't know, that, that looks like a good transition. Grissom, you still here? Didn't mean to freeze you. <laughs> Talk a lot. Uh, no worries, good sir. This is... Um, the company is well appreciated. Okay, and then we're gonna do a. Uh, oops, let's let's get rid of that one. Let's go back frame. Pow, go back one full second. Doop doop. Pow, cha chow, cha ching, drop out the opacity, 0%. Grishka, Grish, Grishka. Autocorrect did that. Gotta love autocorrect. I, you know, I think you've brought it up before, but I can't think of the last time that autocorrect really saved my bacon somewhere. Uh, it just seems like it tends to mess you up more so than it does, uh, getting it right uh, right here just like the other instances I drop in a hard limiter to make sure my peaks are kept at negative 12 decibels at the highest and then I should be able to copy this effect and pop it on in these other bits here and then it seems like I've got the microphone lined up a little better in this se sequence. Let's try and um, compare that to right here. That one's like negative seven to negative 14 decibels. Let's compare it, because I had to boost the audio back here. Let's see, let's get Yeah, that one's. It sounds about the same now, which is what I want. So we will reactivate the hard limiter here and there. Cut these out, and pop them back down right here. Right there. Right there. Nope. This all gets moved up to track two. Let's see what that transition looks like. Okay, so I actually see an issue here. This music fades out a little too quick. So we're gonna toss in another copy of Backwoods Burner from the panel here. 
Oops, let's make sure it's not overwriting anything. Okay, plenty of space. Let's drop this in. And then copy all the effects. Copy volume. Paste volume. Let's see, where does this end? Negative 25 decibels. And then it shouldn't fade out so quickly. We want it to fade out all the way to there. Can delete that one, pop this up. Let's go back a frame. Get rid of that one. This one, negative 100. Step it forward a frame, and then we razor blade back off the end of this, and now that music should fade out as I start talking right at the end of the prep and model section. That looks all right. And I should be able to select all this business and, oh, damn it. Damn it, man, damn it. I need all that selected. And we're gonna slide this in place and stick it on the edge of that layer. Hmm. Let's see, could I get away with a second full second following? No, I don't think so. Go with a half second fade in. Nope. Ain't gonna work. Alright, excellent, excellent. Progress is being made. Um, what is next? That was talking head number two. I've done talking head number one. I've done intro clip. Talking head number two. Time to toss in talking head number three. Let's zip over here. Snag it. Drop it in. Oops. My... What is this thing called? The decoder. It's not even telling me. Oh well, that just means I have to come in here and drop that in right there. And then this will be TH3. So we pop that in as well. Give us another listen. Seems to be working all right. Oh, wait. Audio. There we go. And then we're going to line up the waveforms. Give it a listen. This is me. This is the real me. <laughs> Gotta send a screen cap over the voice on that one. <laughs> Come on, Discord. All right. Did I get this all in one take? I 
I did not get it all in one take. Me cussing at traffic. All right, right there's the start of this scene. This uh, angle's doing wonderful things for my double chin here. Cut this right, right here. Pow, pow, pow. Snag this. Limbs, cut this off, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, there we go, that's the whole segment, I think this one wants to be 85% um, instead of 100, too far, there we go. This one should just get moved down a little bit. Let's get that double chin on full display. might need some oops I hit play I think I might need some movement so let's do nine five five seven three zero we're gonna start this one at 75 and we're gonna have it zoom in to 85 See how that too much. <laughs> You're mentally reciting Dune mantras of bearing resentment in that footage. You can see the veins tensing up. Yes. Yes, that is. Um, I'm a very angry person and. Uh, well, it comes out in the footage that y'all don't get to see. I've thought about potentially doing some super cuts of all the um, unacceptable footage and putting it up on the Patreon page maybe eventually. Um... I told myself I'm not going to start one until we hit a thousand subs, uh, which I've always heard is the hardest, and seems about right. Post that here. Let's check the cookies. Checking back on the cookie stock market. Uh, there we go. Good production. I think this shot is now going to zoom out. I'm going to zoom out from 100 to 90. Just create a little extra visual interest.
and then we do a one second uh, opacity dealio at the end. Click it here, and then go back one second. Pop that, pop that here, and zero percent right there. And then this should be able to stick on the end of. right here okay so you look like you're about to throw the hat down get in the car and drive to another state for a new life never to return <laughs> if someone doesn't cool it yeah i i say very angry things at the traffic um you know as much as as much as i complain about the horrific upstairs neighbors of mine I'm sure that some of my neighbors do not appreciate me cussing at traffic. Um, pissing into the storm, if you will, at one o'clock in the morning. But, you know, I cannot for the life of me fathom why the traffic picks up so, um, so noisily at such an hour. If not for that I am recording audio, then what reason is it for? All right, we're gonna copy the hard limiter and pop it in both and ensure that these clips are limited to, yeah, this sounds so much better. I know y'all aren't getting the, um... y'all aren't getting the, um the audio for capture from here but let's see if I were to hide the TV in the corner you should see here we're good we'll play let's hide the hard limiter and you see these peaks these peaks are popping up to well above the negative six decibel limit into the red zone it'll blow out your ears if you're if your uh, YouTube is too high, and if you hard limit it, it's just hard limited to that to the edge of that yellow zone. All right, cool, cool, cool. That's progress. It's, it's just I don't know something about. Something about plugging in the talking head bits feels like it's making more progress than it really is. It's the slitted eye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Indeed. I, I do got a little bit of that, little bit of that going on there. Uh, I, I guess most of the time folks don't recognize because I, I got these uh, big old glasses on. But... The glasses just don't really match the aesthetic that I'm going for in the crosshair stare. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, I, you know, it's funny. Uh, much like my father, I have a permanent scowl on my face. Um, oh, I just realized I need to shoot. I need to shoot an advertisement for my. Fiverr. I think I'll do that tomorrow. I think it is three o'clock in the morning here, um, and I'm going to try to blast through these talking head bits, and then tomorrow in about like or t today in like 14 14 hours from now in the evening, maybe finish this up and uh, have this set up for a Monday release. I'd prefer a Sunday release. I just, um, I didn't work today and I decided to play video games with the boys and it was, uh, it was good. Taking a break from painting, getting some stuff done, um, can come later. Anyhow, actually, where am I at now? 
how long has this been rolling? What I start? 2 a.m.? 1.45? Yeah. I can go maybe another. Probably have a half hour. 45 minutes, an hour in me. I'd like to get it done. Make that progress. Okay. So. We just finished Talking Head 3. So next is Talking Head 4. Right? Number 3. That is correct. Talking Head 3. We'll go to the end, so I have plenty of room to work. Pull back open, and we want one, two, three, four. We want, nope, my um, decoder is turned off again. So we're gonna dump in this one, and then we're gonna dump in number four. Pop in this one, and pop in that one, I think. Looks like I might have got this in one take, perhaps. Let's give it a listen. Yeah, I screwed it up there, and then it looks like I screw it up twice and then get it all in one go. Cool. One take right there. Pow, pow, pow. Slice it out. Grab it on the front end. Man, I spend an awful, awful few many frames there inhaling. It's probably just a side effect of uh, pushing that voice. Do you think that new high price Star Wars skirmish game will get views for many you? Tubers Shatterpoint, yeah, probably. I think so. Let's um, let's compare some analytics. Actually, Shatterpoint. Let's see. If, I don't know if any of the bigger channels are doing it. Um. Let's see how many subs Glass Half Dead has. 22K subs. Got eight and a half K views on it. What's that compare to their... Let's see if they got any Warhammer stuff here. Um, do, 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 do. They're getting... Yeah, it looks like it's... It looks kind of, excuse me, kind of big. Um, looks like this guy's getting three to four thousand views on his um, kill team post versus 8k on the shatter point. Let's see if that holds true over at. Let's look at Krabbuk. Krabbuk. Uh, 60k subs. Um, leaning real hard into Shatterpoint, it looks like. Let's see. 5k, 1.7k. How does that compare to Legion? About the same. I guess it really depends on the community. Um, I don't think it's a fad that I'm interested in following myself, but I do have those old school Grenadier Star Wars models that I would very much love to paint up. Um, I was thinking of doing something weird with them, maybe like a like a hard 80s themed video and do some vaporwave nonsense paint schemes on them. Thought that could be kind of fun. Uh, let's see here. Let's, let's grab that. I think I want to 
zoom out on this one by about 10% over the course of this. Let's try down to 75. Okay, that works. Let's get rid of this. Let's pop in that hard limiter. Let's do another one second fade out at the very end. Go back to here, pop it, bunch of rinse and repeat. Cut this, zoom out. Now you say high priced, how much? How much are we looking at for that Shatterpoint? I haven't looked into it at all. Star Wars Shatterpoint. Just click shopping. 114 bucks for a core set. Just an OP shirt, mirror Raymond. Get a plastic comb with a pointy handle and hair gel. Get a can of Jolt Cola. Is that a thing? That's still a thing. It's got to be around, right? Ray Pants. <laughs> yeah, it'd be, it'd be super fun. Um, I definitely am real into doing the prop stuff as. Uh, evidenced by my um, the printing of that neuro helmet I could get down on it I think it'd be fun plus anything that upsets the Star Wars community I think is really really funny that that short I did referring the the quote-unquote Star War um, good stuff this does not show who comes in the box? Star Wars Shatterpoint Core Set. I want to see what comes in this. 100, $131.99 for Miniature Market. Let's see, does Game Nerds have it? Maybe White Dawn Johnson's shoulder <laughs> pads. That might be getting a little out of my budget there. Um, but it damn would it not be cool. All right, we're looking at $131.99. Uh, that is a little high. That, no, no, I guess uh, it's about right. It's about right. What, what kind of quality is this terrain? Plastic terrain? Does it come with... I've got to wonder if it comes with dice. You got like, um, what's it called? Black Wind? Operation Black Wind. You could you could hop into infinity um, damn that's uh, that is a better price uh, you could hop into infinity two-player games uh, you get the box set with what 14 models seven on each side enough to play Matt, tokens, dice, uh, surprisingly sturdy cardboard terrain. And then they also have included the the Dire Foes. Um, I thought it was going to be the Beyond. Weird that they included the, the Mission Pack and not the Beyond bundle. But then you get the Hell in a Troy... She's a uh, cool model. I got her up there on the shelf. I ain't busted out yet. Yeah, I, I saw that FFG indeed has the funky symbol dice. Didn't they do Armada? Ar Armada. Yeah, I've got um, I've got the Rebels for Armada. That's a neat game. Uh, maybe the only Star Wars game I'll play. But even then, like, playing that game gets in the way of Battletech. 
and gets in the way of infinity which i do a lot of infinity or i do a lot of battletech content but um, my main my main game is infinity uh, without a doubt there's no foreign stores ban with star wars so maybe what when games has it a the beast of war store beast of war store beasts of war the website don't want to load here we go I did not know that wait is this is this a store Shatterpoint looks like an Infinity Necromunda type game yeah I feel like folks are really like moving more into the realm of skirmish uh, unfortunately the instant gratification and social media society we live in now um, seems to make folks not super tolerant of things that you know take any amount of time to do which is unfortunate because uh, i do recall loving a, a big a big warhammer game like the all day 4000 pointer deals or like a, a big battle tech match it's so good really enjoy it uh, but finding somebody who's willing to like play all day it's a tall order okay I'm gonna pop the making changes down what talking head was this this was number four talking head five about halfway done. Gonna fly through them now. I am thankfully feeling the fatigue at this point. And actually, where are we at? Where are we at right now? We're looking at hour and a half. I think I'll push it through, oh, I don't know, two more talking head bits. I'm feeling it in the back of my eyelids. I could probably lay down and fall asleep, which is awesome. It's the whole point of doing this stream tonight. Uh, number five, number five. We're gonna drop in Talking Head Five. We're gonna drop in Talking Head Five audio. Drop it on the back end. Bring this in. Looks like it is maybe a one taker as well. Thankfully, these are all super short. I could probably blast through the rest of these. Maybe not the the outro, um, cause that nope. This one's gonna take some cutting down. Try to catch it before that breath in. God, I am a weird looking person. <laughs> but that's okay. I can be weird. This is my world. Is that it? Is that, I get that? Oh, yeah, okay, cool. There we go. Just one screw up. Let's cut this right here. Pow, pow, pow. Slice that off. Grab the front end of this, this feller. Pow, pow, pow. 
get rid of that. Reaction stuff, like was in Warzone, Mutant Chronicles, which is also D20. I wonder if the Infinity guys in Spain were into bringing Warzone back as a cyberpunk space anime. I never played Warzone. But I feel like this is one. Did you point this one out at um, in Mech Frogs? Zone. Oh, I I know this art. That that just triggered something deep in my deep in my psyche. I remember seeing this art in, holy moly, what was that magazine that did the magic cards that had the great Plugak? Corvus Belly were maybe trying to bring back the old days and it turned into a business plan. I could see that. What was the Plugak in? No, I want Plugak. Great Plugrex Decree. It was in a magazine. Damn, I can't I can't remember. It was an old magazine that, that did magic cards back in the days of Tempest. I had this I had this art hanging on my wall as a as a kid at my grandparents' house. I ain't seen that in a hot minute. Neat. Neat, neat, neat. Well, as always, Mr. Emery, I, I appreciate your delves into the annals of time, pulling back up these dank models from the past. Because this is exactly the kind of stuff I'm into. I'd love to paint some stuff, um, some old stuff. I mentioned it, Sweden copied Gamma World in the 90s. They made it cyberpunk. They put it in space, changed to something like 40K. But Dieselpunk got Richard Borg to do a board game. I'm not familiar with that name. I am ignorant on that. Let's try. That cuts bad. Let's do this one. 90%. Maybe zoomed out. Maybe zoomed out this way. Even further. We'll go 60 with it. Richard Borg did the memoir 44 rules and command and colors. I memoir 44 is like deep in my subconscious somewhere but I never played it hex based it actually looks like a pretty cool board game to have I like the, it's got it's got chits it's got cards it's got models it's got proprietary dice neat Neat, neat, neat. I definitely have a, a bit of a soft spot for interesting board games. This one needs to be we're going down 10% with that one, I think. 10%. No, that's a little unsettling. We'll go 5% with it. Fantasy Flight Games did a fantasy game with his rules and Svedsta ripped his rules off for their little World War II models of 15 minutes. 
Okay. There's a mech game called Abaddon 2. Abaddon. 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 What's that name? Richard Borg. Madden board game. Oh yeah, that looks cool. That looks real cool. I love those those goofy looking mix. Very neat. This this has the feel of of an old old board game or what I'd call an old board game you have a hex board three three flanks and cards with orders that you draw and play yeah that looks really really neat real simple too what you got five six models per side and some some terrain let's see if that's floating around Twenty bucks? Hell yes. That really what twenty dollars? Memoir forty four, yeah, okay. I I was just looking at that. Memoir forty four board game. It looks neat. It definitely looks neat. Um the board looks nice. I like when a board game offers multiple things. Um, one thing I was given pretty high praise to the Dark Souls board game uh, was it's got it's got dice, it's got chits, it's got pips, it's got dials, it's got cards, it's got boards, it's got miniatures, it, it's got it all. Um, this kind of strikes me as another one that would be worth picking up perhaps. But again, I, okay, 50 bucks, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. I do have a bit of a problem with board games. I've been um, picking up maybe too many of them. Let's see, how much? What is it? 960 by 540. And then this one will go in 10%, I think. Let's see how that looks. I want to do these cuts. And... That might be a little too jarring. Let's go 60 to 70. Might just have to match wherever this ends on. What's the final numbers here? Uh, we need to make this 1090, 670, and then this will start at 1090, 670, 75. Let's see if we can't make this look like a continuous shot. 65. Okay, cool. That looks good. Um, we're doing an opacity at the very end. Popping it in here. Going back one second. Rinse and repeat. Zero that out. Get rid of the cell phone audio. 
I wish I knew enough people to play Scythe. It's the board game that hooks my brain when I'm dumb enough to go to a store. Scythe. Board game. I have seen this art. I know I've seen this art. You got meeples, you got models, you got heroes. You got chits. You got hexes. We got cards as well. Got that's awesome. Oh god, that's just too big. Yeah, that looks really neat. Um Prototype miniatures. Oh. Maybe those aren't the official minis. It's the wrong website. Let's go to Game Nerds. It's called Scythe Scythe. How much? How much for the base game? Okay. 65. What's it marked down from? A hundred bucks? Okay. Uh, for what it's worth, if you find yourself picking up um, box sets or games online, I do recommend Game Nerds. They, they have really good price on most stuff, and they do uh, free shipping at 75 bucks. It's usually where I pick up my Infinity stuff. And, honestly, on that note... I think I am fatigued enough to lie down and actually go to sleep. And if I get to sleep in the next 45 minutes, I can get up by noon and still get a proper amount of sleep. So, as always, I want you, I want to thank you for being here, uh, Mr. Emery. This has been a blast chatting with you. Uh, I always enjoy. Uh, delving into to games uh, while getting a little bit of work done and exploring nostalgia, you've got some really good hits for it. It's it's well appreciated. And uh, of course, as always, if any of y'all out there are working on your own projects and you're painting, I want you to remember to be happy while you're painting. And with that, I think I'm tired enough to make myself lay down and finally beat out the insomnia. It's a short stream today. Uh, or I guess today, yeah. It's 3.30 local time. I think that it's about what I can do on this for now. Uh, I'm going to aim to get back up and in on the stream here in about, I don't know, 14 hours or so. Once I get some sleep. And uh, get this video out and have it ready for y'all. I've also picked up some footage for a shorts feature as well we'll talk about um can't remember exactly what it was i know i recorded a shorts bit um to do some in between stuff and i've got the rose city raid this weekend um so that's gonna demand some of my time but that said i'll still find some time to get working on thetania and maybe put up Another Battletech video of some sort afterwards. They'll probably do another community poll uh, and see what folks want to see. Because I, I want to paint some non-Battletech stuff, but I want to keep it interesting. At least enough that the Battletech loyalists will have something to enjoy. I ate a forest fire in a bowl. Uh, I hate to hear that, Emery. Uh, I hope that you have a few moments of easy resting. Um, from your indigestion pains. But anyway, uh, I think I am going to lie down. Um, will appreciate it, as always. Uh, Y'all take it easy, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>